Hooray, it's time to learn to edit. You'll make today a movie project and learn how to import media into iMovie. So what you're going to do is you're going to look for the purple star in your dock and double click it. So we've got three buttons at the top of, um, of the screen that opens in iMovie. There's media, there's projects, and there's theater. Let's start with projects. And if you would create new, and when you press on that, it asks you if you'd like to create a movie or a trailer. Click on movie. And um, you'll see that it created a movie. It's called My Movie. Here it is up here. They've named it for you. Well, we don't want it to be called My Movie. Let's click on projects again. And let's call it NGX Drone, okay? And click OK. So now we can see there is our project. And if you click on it, it brings us to this window. Now you won't have this information here, but you will in a minute, I promise. But if we look at Engineering Drone or NGX Drone in that window, uh, or if we click on the word under Project Media on the far left, NGX Drone, it will ask us to import media. So go ahead and click on that arrow. And up at the top, it's going to ask you where you want to import the footage to. What we want to import to is something called NGX class. So go ahead and type in NGX class. It's not having me type it in because I've created it before. So go ahead and list that. And then you are going to look for the media to import. Now, there's many ways you can import media, and I'm going to show you all of the four ways for media that's on your computer. So the first thing, the first method to import footage is to go up to your menu bar, which is at the top of the screen, press File, File, Import Media. And this is called the Import window and it will ask you to find the footage that you want to import. It happens to be on the desktop and it's in a folder called NGX Media. So double click on that and you'll see the same thing that's on my window right now. And what you want to do is come over here and say import all. So that's one way to import media, and that's going to be in our NGX class event. And we can see that here, NGX class. So we have the event, NGX class, and we have a project, NGX drone. So that's one way you can import, but there's actually three additional ways. You can press the import button, which is at the very top of your screen. It's the arrow. If you click on that, there is our import window again. So just know you can import by using that. You can also drag and drop, which I just love. And I'm just going to take this. It's already there, but let's see. Drop it. And there it is. And I can say uh, import that. But um, if you were just to drag and drop, you'd click import selected right here. So that's a third way. So what's the fourth way? When you use iMovie for quite a while or any software, there's something called keyboard shortcuts. So this is a keyboard shortcut, this little symbol with the letter I, and that stands for Command I. So you can actually go to Command I and um, you'll get the import window, and then you can import from there. So those are the four ways that you can import footage. And here they all are. Here's all the footage we imported, and we'll be looking at that shortly. The footage files are copied into iMovie and also into what's called the movie library. 
iMovie basically makes a copy of your files when you import anything, and it places them in a separate folder called iMovie Library. So in actuality, we don't need to save the Engineering X folder on our desktop. We can actually delete that, and video takes up a lot of space. So we don't want too many duplicates on, on our computer. We do, however, want to back up using a hard drive, and we'll be doing that as well. So I only showed you here how to import footage from files that are already on your computer, but you should know that there are other methods. What if you have footage on a video camera? And maybe it's an older camera that has a, um, a tape drive in it, or a camera that has a hard drive in it, or maybe it's a newer camera that uses memory cards. How do you get that in your computer? Well, if that's the case, what you have to do is use the ports on the side of your computer and cords to connect your cameras to your laptop and bring footage into iMovie that way. So you did it. You've seen four ways to import footage, and, um, and those four ways are what? Who can tell me what they are? We're going to stop here. We're going to let you play and feel free to ask questions and we'll talk a little bit with the coaches as well.